What's up YouTube, Trey here from Top of Tech, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to install Kodi, which is an open source home theater software, onto your Amazon Fire TV stick. First things first, power up the Amazon Fire TV and scroll down to settings. Once you're there, scroll over to systems, and then we're scrolling down to developer options. Once we're here, we're just going to make sure ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources is turned on. It's important so that we can connect to this through the network. Now just hit the back button and scroll up to about. Once you're here, you scroll down to network. And here we're wanting to write down the IP address. You want to make sure you save this because you're going to use this later. So make sure you write down yours. Don't write down mine because it won't do anything for you. But write down your IP address as it's labeled right there. Once you're done there, leave your Amazon TV on and head over to your computer. Once you're there, go to Google and type in Kodi, or you can follow the links down below. But if you type in Kodi, you just click Downloads, and then on the very first page, you'll see where there's an Android symbol. Click the ARM link to download Kodi for your Amazon Fire TV. Once you're done there, go back to Google and type in Jokala. Again, I have all these links labeled in the description box, so if you want to just click through there, you can download everything you need right through there. Once you get to the site, it should look like this. Scroll down a little bit, and then you'll see where it has the different operating systems. Just choose whatever operating system that you are using. So if it's Windows, or if it's Mac, or Linux, just click whatever link. It's all going to look the same, so you can continue to follow along. Once you go into here, you'll see a bunch of different ways to hit start download. You just want to hit begin download. This is the way that you don't go through the ads and stuff. Once it's done downloading, it'll look a little different for Windows at this point, but once you get the application open, it'll look just the same. But once it's done downloading, uh, you'll see this window come up. Once you see this window come up, go ahead and click new and then Type in a description. I named mine Fire Stick 1. You can name it whatever you want to. It's just how it labels itself. Next, you want to type in that IP address that you wrote down earlier. Remember, it's the one from your Amazon Fire TV. Just go ahead and write that into this box as well too, and then click uh, Save after you're done with all of that. Next, back at the main screen, you're going to hit Connect. And this connects to your Amazon Fire TV that should still be turned on. And you're going to hit Install APK. Once you hit Install, you're going to find where you installed that Kodi application, the very first application that you downloaded. It should be in your download folder, but it could be different. Um, and then here it takes a little while for it. I'd sped this up, but it takes a little while to download it because it's a pretty big file. Uh, but once it's done, Got one more thing for you. Uh, you want to download an APK called Firestarter. I got a link down in the description box if you want to get it. But it's called Firestarter. It allows you to launch Kodi a lot faster. So download it the same way that you downloaded Kodi. Typically, when you download an application from the web, it saves it to your download folder, but it could be different. And that's it. Now we're just going to go change some settings in Firestarter. Go to settings, then you want to scroll over to applications. Scroll all the way to the very bottom to manage installed applications. And you're going to click Firestarter first. So we're going to set that up for you. And then launch application. Once you're here, you're going to go over to updates. Now just to make sure everything is up to date, check Firestarter first. We are up to date. And then go ahead and check Kodi to make sure that's the most up to date as well, too. And then we're going to go to settings. And this is where we're going to make some changes. Now you're going to scroll down until you see a home button single click application. This allows you to launch your Fire TV home button uh, to launch it back to the home screen. And then if you double click it, this will allow you to launch Kodi, which if you ever used Kodi before, this is a lot faster. And that's it. Now when you single click your home button, it takes you home. If you double click your home button, it takes you straight into Kodi. And that's going to be it. If you don't know what Kodi is, Kodi is an open source software that neatly organizes your local and public media library. You can also install third party plugins that make your media consumption limitless. If you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But as always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, and I will see you next time.